back at the park, it was finally time to sit down with the group and reflect upon our epic journey. Well, I don't know, it feels like it's sort of coming to the end of the trip. It's a bit sad. It is sad, and I've enjoyed every bit of it. But mm. what about you fellas, though? How have it's you enjoyed fun. it? It has been fun. Yeah? yeah. yeah. What's your favourite bit? Flop and Silverado, I reckon. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's not hard for that to be the favourite, is it? You didn't handpick your full best for us, did you? Because I'm going to go and try some others out now and see if they're all <laughs> as good, because they have been sensational. No, no. no. I the mean, the, the end, criteria you have, yep. they haven't just passed in my mind. They, they've excelled in every one every of those one fields. Of those, yeah. It's been a journey. As Australians, we, we have this big vision of are we going to do the whole country or are we going to you know, do the big lap? And, and I really want to encourage folk to, to stop and, and, and forget about the big lap, do smaller laps, mm -hmm. you know, go and do a, a, a region and, and spend some time exploring uh, local towns and regions and, and really also, do it. Do it, yeah, yeah. and enjoy, enjoy what there is to, to do and see and also um, to support the local businesses and communities because many of them have struggled and I really, you know, I really think that's a great way to, to uh, encourage them to have tourism in their local towns. So. Wise words, I think, there, Bert. Well oh, done. Th thank you. Well, folks, that brings our Four Park Kui Parks tour to an end. And it's been an absolute blast, but we've got to thank our good mates at Kui Parks and also Highline Caravans for making it possible. Now, as I said, it might be the end of this journey, but we'll have plenty more coming up next time as we show you... What's, what's up, up Down Under? What's up, Down Under?